Welcome to Mr. Two Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing Condor's MA5 mag pouch repurposed as an individual first aid kit, or IFAC, as part of my first aid kit series. Previously, I reviewed Condor's EMT light ripaway pouch and talked about why everyone should own an IFAC. If you want to see what I have in here, I'll include a link to that review in the description below along with all the products you see in this video. This pouch was originally designed to hold two rifle magazines, but I got the idea to make this into a first aid kit when researching IFACs and came upon Chindik Medical Gear's IFAC insert. I love the idea so much I ordered Condor's MA5 mag pouch in anticipation of hosting this insert. Unfortunately, the shipping cost to Korea is almost $100, so it was cost prohibitive for me to order it. Even shipping to a US address costs $19. When I come back to the states, I'll probably order one anyway, but in the meantime, I'll make do with what I have and stuff everything in a Ziploc bag. This is actually the bag that came with a surplus military IFAC kit I got off Amazon. To fit in the kit, I had to modify the pouch by cutting the threads to the elastic retention band as it was too tight to go in. Then I sewed it back into the Velcro here so I could use it to mount other things like this cat tourniquet, which I took off my other kit. If I could do it again, I would cut the band in the middle and sew them to the sides here so I could use the bands to mount things on both sides. The other reason why I wanted to make this kit was because I wanted something smaller than the EMT light, which came out to be bigger than I expected. The pouch is made of nylon and has two 6 inch non-removable button straps with molly webbing. It's got a grommet hole here to drain water. One drawback I can see with the Chinook IFAC insert is that the contents will be exposed to the elements, particularly water. As long as all the contents are already waterproof, then it's not really an issue, depending on what you put in here. In the meantime, the Ziploc bag should keep my items dry and protected. You can see I added a patch here, which you have to buy separately. I added a North American Rescue cat tourniquet on the side, which is normally on my Condor EMT light. Just so you can see, it fits in the band quite nicely and comes out easily for fast access. And a cheap $6 rescue knife I got from a random website. Amazon has some cheap options as well. The knife has a glass breaker and a seatbelt cutter that could double as a clothes ripper to get to a wound. I may have to get a hole started with the knife, but that would have to be done carefully. You don't want to exacerbate a situation by accidentally cutting yourself or others. To reduce liability, I'll eventually replace the knife with a dedicated medical shear. I keep this one with my other kit, but if I did, I'll lose the glass breaker function unless I get the Leatherman Raptor shears, but those are too expensive for me at the moment. A glass breaking function would be good to have in a car kit. Let's get to the contents here, of which I got from a number of sources, including the military IFAC, trauma pack, and a 299 piece kit from Amazon. The outer velcro strap is adjustable. You can completely detach it and adjust the height to fit your kit, so I'll just measure the backing to give you an idea of the dimensions. Here you can see it's almost half the depth of the EMT light. Okay, now I'll lay everything out and talk about the contents. Okay, so here's everything I have in this kit. Starting from the upper left, I have a 5x9 trauma pad, a 4x4 gauze pad, 2x2 gauze pad, a 4-inch Israeli bandage, 6 large-ish bandages, 1 large bandage, some rubber band to hold some of the stuff together, uh, nitro gloves in a, zip, in a little Ziploc bag, compressed gauze, some sutures, uh, about two feet of duct tape, large towelettes, antiseptic towelettes, alcohol cleansing wipes, a sting relief pad, some burn cream, antibiotic ointment, some potassium iodide tablets, and some Aleve or naproxen sodium. I'll probably need to add some aspirin and non-aspirin to this kit eventually, but this is what I have in there so far. And in the back here, I keep my quick clot clotting sponge. If you're wondering what these kits weigh with what I have in them, here it is. Here's what they weigh empty. You can attach it to your belt, pack, or whatever you can think of using the straps. It's relatively easy to detach if you need it, though not as easy as the Condor EMT Lite. But it's smaller, albeit with less capacity. 
And that concludes my review of Condor's MA5 single mag pouch. Up next, I'll be reviewing Adventure Medical Kit's Trauma Pack Pro. Like and subscribe if you found this review helpful, and click the notification bell if you're interested in seeing the next review. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.